All right, shalom. Before I get started, Barakati Yahweh, Barakati Yahweh Shah, Barakati Yahweh, Barakati Yahweh Shah, Barakati Yahweh, Barakati Yahweh Shah, Kahala Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rechah Kudash. Secondly, I want to give double honors to all the elders and apostles throughout the four corners of the earth that's pushing this truth and all sincerity and righteousness in these last days. I also would like to give double honors to the head and the elder, the men of Israel camp, the Achazat, whom I teach under that hand, Greenville, South Carolina. I also would like to give double honors. I mean, it's like, I also would like to give a shout out to you, Shashir Akim, you brothers out there that's pushing this truth and all sincerity and righteousness in these last days. I also would like to give another shout out to you, Israelite foreigners that's looking like the other heathen nations causing confusion. Coming back to your heritage in these last days. And also, uh, lastly, a quick shout out to you, if you out Watiyam. Your sisters out there that stand in order and doing what y'all need to do in these last days. All right, so y'all like to say shalom. All right, now coming back to the spirit of power, y'all about Shiyan with with another exaltation video. And uh, pretty much uh, th this video uh, lesson that I want to go into is um, basically going into, you know, our salvation are the chariots, man. All right, what I mean, what I mean by chariots is, you know, so what the word English calls UFOs, man. All right. Because these elites, these higher ups, you know, these people that's in, that's that's running this world, they know, they know what our salvation look like. But Jake, you know, they don't know what their salvation look like. They think they think America is, is their salvation, or they think America, or they think they just ain't gonna get no type of salvation. Like they're not gonna be saved from their enemies, man. All right, we're gonna be saved from my enemies, but it's a certain way it's gonna happen, man. All right, Jake don't believe that. Why? Because Jake has been embedded into this captivity for so long to it just you know took away jake faith man so you know i just want to do a lesson on that man because you even got presidents like um i believe that was ronald reagan that said that and we should uh we should fight a threat outside this uh outside this earth roughly paraphrasing what he was saying because they know they know when our lord and savior how will shot come back that's the end of their kingdom man all right that's why they're trying to uh uh, create space forces right donald trump you know creating a space force you know team why is that man because they understand that they're gonna have to fight against the the the, the uh the heavenly father vehicles which are the uh, so-called ufos man all right and if you don't this one i'm talking about right here man what i mean by ufo you know so-called because they try to say it's un un unidentified uh objects right which they be they should be called ifos because it's identified flying objects because we identify them as the the vehicles of yahweh so um yeah man so jay get prepared to, to see our salvation man all right when you see those don't don't freak out man because they even try to make movies of them right you got that movie that came out with jordan peele it was called um i believe if i'm not mistaken it was called uh uh, was, uh i believe it was caught uh it wasn't get out it wasn't uh us i think it was like now hold on it was no yeah no yeah no so yeah like that movie no look matter of fact it was so crazy that's one of the scriptures i had damn i wish i can get the picture um what I was talking about. Um, matter of fact, I'm gonna just do this. Cause so this is the picture I'm talking about. What, what you see, no fit right there. That's the scripture right there. That's that's the scripture, man. You see, because like I said, when they made this movie, they trying to make the, they trying to make it all corny and shit. And when you look at it, but spiritually, we know what they was trying to do, man. All right, but they trying to make the chair seem scary and you know trying to make it seem like basically they're trying to make it to where jay is scared of their salvation jay don't be scared of your salvation man when you see those you should rejoice especially if you're a part of the whole for lick now you shouldn't be doing too much rejoicing if you you know um if you ain't doing what you need to be doing because those chairs gonna kill your ass although that's your salvation but really it's only the salvation of the elite honestly and the great multitude you're not part of that and the chair is gonna kill you point blank period but <laughs> You know, but when you see those, don't be like, oh shit, those green head aliens, nigga, them ain't no aliens, man. Matter of fact, let's open up with this right quick. Because, you know, Esau, they, they tend to they tend to want people to think, or they do want people to think, you know, that those chariots are, you know, those the people that send the chariots, which are those are angels, 
they want y'all to think that those are just big head green aliens right with you know with et fingers <laughs> you know come on man that, that, that's bullshit man you know that's black hey the scriptures are gonna speak on it revelations 13 and 6 and he opened his mouth talking about esau edom this devil right the so-called white man and he opened his mouth and blasphemy, me right that word blasphemy basically means you know filthy ass lie and slug if y'all hearing all that traffic you know i'm on my balcony you know a lot of traffic coming through but uh like i said he opened his mouth and blasphemy, me blast me against the heavenly father to blaspheme his name right because they blaspheme the heavenly father name right by calling him god jesus christ you know uh, uh Yahweh, right, etc., man. So it says he opened his mouth and blasphemed against the heavenly Father to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle, which are us, right? This tabernacle is with man, right? They 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 want y'all to think that the so-called uh, small hats over there in the land of Israel are the true people, right? They, they, uh, calling us niggas, right? They blaspheme against the tabernacles, lying on the true people, man, right? It says, and them that dwell in heaven. Who, who's them that dwell in heaven? First and foremost, Yahweh Shah. <laughs> we can speak on that all day. About changing his image, changing his name, right? Thinking he came for everybody, etc. But the point is, you said, them that dwell in heaven. And Esau, I, I say Esau. And even also the angels, man. They blaspheme against the angels by saying they some fucking aliens. Even saying they little white babies with bow and arrows in their hands, shooting love. Come on, bro. That, that's blasphemy, man. That's a 50 ass line. That's one of the reasons this devil got to be put out of power, man. Point blank, period, man. Point blank, period. This devil got must be put out of power, man. Because if not, hey, man, he's just going to keep. Man, like the scripture said, man, there should no flesh be saved, man. You see? So this devil just going to be fucking up everything, man. You know, he already fucking up the Bible. You know? What else is this man going to do? You know? But, um,. Yeah, like I was saying, man, when Jake see a chair, they all man think, oh, oh, it's about to be an alien invasion, alien invasion. Now, don't get it wrong. Now, they is going to try to probably fake a little alien invasion, you know, just to, you know, to keep deceiving the masses, of course. You know, they got that Project Blue Bean shit. So you do got to watch out for that. They're going to try to, you know, uh, use Project Blue Bean, all right, to deceive the people, you know, more than likely. But, hey, we don't know yet. Hey, we just got to see and watch, man. But I wouldn't be surprised if they do try to fake an alien invasion in the upcoming, you know, future, you know, very soon, you know. But don't be deceived by it, man. All right, like the scripture say, many are deceived, man. Many gonna be deceived, man. You know, so don't be deceived, you know, by that, you know. So, um, but yeah, like 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 I was saying with this picture right here uh, with Jordan Peele. Jordan Peele, he knows something, man. We 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 believe he knows something, man. You know, and, and of course he's gonna put it in movies. He's not going to physically speak out on it. Why? Because, you know, you know, they're going to more than likely kill him or whatever. So he just put it in movies. and put so They put a lot of subliminals in these movies, man. And you look at a lot of these movies, they got subliminals of this truth, man, this ministry of what's going to happen to this kingdom, man. You see? But I just want to deal with this picture how they was looking up. And when, and when you watch the movie, they was looking up at, the, you know, the so-called UFOs, man. Right, and that's the scripture of them doing that, man. You know, um, that's in the book of I had it, Luke 21 and 28. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draws nigh. Wait me one second, okay. Uh, Let me read it again. I had to make sure my volume was up, my uh, thing, make sure y'all could hear me. Uh, Luke 21 and 28 again, it says, And when he and when these things begin to come to pass, uh, then look up. And lift up your heads for your redemption draw now. You see, it said lift up your heads. Why? Because your salvation is near. He said, like the scripture said, now is our salvation near than when we believe, because our salvation is near. That's why you seeing a lot of these chariot signs, right? Why? Because it's this is the end, bro. This is the end. This gotta be the end, bro. Hey, matter of fact, uh another thing too, another quick point. Why you think our ancestors sung that song? Swain low, sweet chariot, coming forth to carry us home, bro. Swain, low. what's going swing low, man, and and deliver us? What was swinging at that time? Matter of fact, it said swing low, sweet chariot, and the scriptures are known as what chariots. Showing you our forefathers knew before Esau took our beat our heritage out of us. That's why it tells you in the book of Jeremiah seventeen and four, you should discontinue from my heritage. Part of that discontinue is us knowing what those chariots were, man. 
We should have knew what those were. Our ancestors knew what those was. But ever since slavery, we got that beat out of us, man. So Jake don't know where they are today. But the the the, uh, the Lord is putting us in remembrance, though we once knew. We once knew these things, man. You know, like it tells you in the scriptures. Though you once knew, I, you know, I will put you in remembrance, though you once knew. If I'm not mistaken, that's in the book of Jude. Matter of fact, we can kind of get it. Well, we can get it. I ain't going to say kind of. Damn, come on, man. I believe that's in Jude. Yup, yeah, verse 5, Jude 1 and 5. It says, I would therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this, how that the Lord have saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believe not. You see, and guess what? He's going to say us on this spiritual Egypt. You see? He's going to say, and the spiritual Egypt I'm talking about is what? America, Babylon the Great, man. You see? And like I said, though you once knew. Yeah, we once knew. Uh, we once knew what those chairs were, man. But like I said, we forgot about this stuff. You know, doing slavery, we got it beat out of us. But like I like the scripture saying, Jew, though you once knew, I will put you in remembrance, man. You see? Um, let's go back to Luke 21, 28. Come on, man. I guess I'm going to just have to look for the KJV. Yep, the KJV right here. It says, and when these things, the KJV verse, it says, and when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draw nine. You see, the scripture say, look up, man. You should be happy. You should be rejoicing when you're seeing those chairs, man. Especially, like I say, you you part of the whole filet. You're teaching this word. Hey, man, we get happy when we see chairs sightings, man. We don't want to be like, oh, shit. Those aliens, they about to attack, bro. Man, fuck that, man. We get happy. We be like, call all y'all about shit. And then brothers even try to, you know, brother, brother be wanting to pull out the phone, but brothers get too goddamn excited to at the point you be like, man, fuck, you forget about the goddamn phone. I don't, I don't, I don't been like that for, like, um, I was heading to work one day, man. And, you know, um, Jay was tired as fuck, man. Um, and you know, when I be driving sometimes, when I'm tired, I zone out, but I know what I'm doing. You know, Jay just be like, just with a blank look, don't even move, and uh, I just be kind of like trying to wake myself up. And a chair just showed itself for five seconds, man. I was just so, uh, I was like, John, you know, I was just marveled, like, you know, it shook, like, oh, shit. And I'm looking at this, and it showed itself for like six seconds. Within them six seconds, I could have hurried up and pulled out my phone. I wasn't even thinking about my phone, man. I was just so shook, man, you know what I'm saying? I was so happy to see it, bro. And it just went away. I'm like, damn, man, I could have caught that on video, man. And it, it was like, it just shot down, like, it was like a green like a green color and it just shot down like it was going slow then it just shot down real quick and just disappeared man living witness to this man and the, and the lord is my witness to this man you know and i was like i was like oh shit i remember the words that came out i was like oh shit and i was like man call all y'all about seeing i was shot man you know because i understood that that was my salvation right there man and that's crazy man two little birds just flew up to me man two little birds literally like maybe 10 feet apart man you know, those could be angels. Who knows, man? <laughs> Who knows? You know, hey, these angels could transform to anything, man. So, hey, I don't know, man. You know, but they looking. They, they just flew my direction, man. You know? Um. But anyway, uh. It's like it. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, and verse 2. And it says. When they see it, they should be troubled with terrible fear and should be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation for far beyond all that they look for. You see that? It says, they, it says, and, and, and should be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. Yeah, they're going to be amazed at the strangeness of our salvation. Why? Because this whole time they thought, they thought those uh, so-called UFOs was uh, aliens, man. So they're gonna be amazed when 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 fire and smoke brimstone hit this place. They're gonna be amazed. They're gonna be like, oh shit. How the hell are they get beamed up, man? While we out here in this fire, they're gonna be amazed at that, man. Cause they like I said, they the people, the masses thought those were just aliens, man. No, those ain't aliens, man. Those are big brothers, man. You know, those are the angels of Yahweh Bashin Awasha, man. You know? And you gotta believe that. You gotta have faith in that, man. You know? And if you don't have faith in that, 
more than likely you ain't gonna be beamed up because what, what, what type of soul Yahweh Shah want to be in a chair that don't believe that those are that those are your salvations? Yahweh Shah don't want nobody in his chairs thinking like that, man. <laughs> Come on, man. You see? So that's why it says, and should be amazed at the strangers of his salvation. So far beyond all that they look for, and that's all we're looking for is to be delivered, man. We're looking forward to get the to get delivered on those so-called chariots, man. I mean, on those so-called UFOs, man. You know, uh, you can call them chairs or clouds. They're known as clouds or chairs, man. Right? So either or, man. You know? And that's going to, like I said, it's going to be a strangest of our salvation because people ain't going to believe that those are salvation. People ain't going to believe that those are uh, 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 angels, man. They, they believe those are aliens, man. You see? Um, First Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 16. And we're going to read down to 17. Uh, 1 Thessalonians 4, 16. It says, For the Lord himself should descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumps of the heavenly father. And the dead in Hamashiach should rise first. You see, the dead in Hamashiach are going to rise first. When Yahweh uh, shall return, guess what? Guess who's going to be the first on those chairs? The, re the elect that had died, you know, before Yahweh Shah came. Truly, they didn't die, but you know, you get what I'm saying. Uh, they passed away. They, they're in the spiritual realm, right? When Yahweh shall return, guess what? They're going to be on those chairs, man. Verse 17. Then we, which are alive and remain, should be caught up together. See? The ones that still here living on this earth, that's a part of the, the hopeful elect, right? It said, then we, which are alive and remain, should be caught up together. Caught up where? Let's read. With them in the clouds. Like I just said earlier, the you can either call them the clouds or the chariots. Right, it says should be caught up with them in the cloud. And it's not talking about a physical, a physical uh, cloud, man, <laughs> that you see in the sky, man. Let's prove that, matter of fact. Let's go. I, I don't know it's, in. it's in the book of Psalms. That's why you got to uh, go precept upon precept. Yep, Psalms one hundred four and three. Who led the beings of his chambers in the waters? Who maketh the clouds his chariot? Who walketh upon the wings of the wind? You see that? It says, who maketh the clouds his chariot? So, you know, clouds are some synonymous for chariot, man. I mean, chariot is synonymous for a cloud, man. You know? So, like I said, you could call them either or a cloud or a chariot, man. Or, you know, uh, so-called UFOs, man. You know, so the masses can understand what you're talking about. Because you just say a cloud, they'll think a literal cloud. So, that's why we say so-called UFOs. So the people can know what we're talking about. But it says, verse 17 again, it says, Then we which are alive and remain should be caught up together with them in the clouds. Meaning the chariots. Oh, man. Another, oh, man. Hold on. Matthew 24. I believe that is. <clears throat> Elder Gabar used to always bring it out. Uh, Matthew 24 and verse 4. No. Um. Uh, Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bear with me one second. I know somewhere in, uh, I know it's in the book of Matthew, man. Bear with me one second. Mm. Yep, 31. Matthew 24 and 31. And he should send his angels with great sound of a trumpet, and they should gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of the heavens to the other. You see that? And he should send his angels. Where are they going to come from? Those chariots, man. So like it says right here, to meet, no. It says, who are alive, remain, should be caught up, should be caught up together with them in the clouds. To, oh my goodness, come on, man. Go, yeah, there we go. Uh, to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord. You see that we're gonna be caught up with the Lord, man You see we're gonna be caught up with Yahweh by Shem Shai in those chariots, man You see Yahweh Shai gonna deliver us in that chariot, man We patiently waiting on that day, man And we believe that it's gonna happen and we know that it's gonna happen, man And we're gonna give all praises to who? Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rechal Kodash, man You see? <clears throat> 
so now let's go over let's get this last one we'll close it uh revelations 11 and 12 and they heard a great voice from heaven saying and to them come up hither and they ascended up to heaven in a cloud and the enemies beheld them you see that it says come up hither come up hither where and those clouds the chariots the so-called ufos it says and they ascended up into heaven in the cloud meaning a ufo and the enemies beheld them meaning the enemies was amazed they were just looking gazing man you know when you get that word beheld matter of fact let's get it See, to be a spectator, look at, behold, to view, attentively, take a view, survey. So pretty much they were just looking. Like, when we get delivered, they just looking up like, damn, they really got delivered. They really out of, I, they really, because like the scriptures tell you, you know, Esau refused to let us go. So they're going to be pissed off. They're going to be looking up like, damn, the Lord had them, the Lord delivered them, man. See, and we're going to be, and that go, come on, bro. This goes to show you, this goes to show who's the enemies. If salvation is for everybody, who is the enemy, man? <laughs> is it Satan? Because we automatically know Satan ain't going to be delivered, right? And his angels, right? Which, you know, they'd like to say those some, you know, big head demons or whatnot, which we know those to be, you know, Edomites or whatnot and the other heathen nations. But like I said, and it should be, it said, uh, send it up into heaven and the client and the enemies beheld. You see? Come on, man. That goes to show you that the elite got enemies man and who are those enemies man two-thirds they, they claim to say everybody's gonna be saved how everybody gonna be saved when they say the enemies beheld them why they ain't being beamed up you ask yourself that man but anyway lord willing this video was edifying i'm gonna close with giving all praise and glory to yahweh bahashem yahweh shah bahashem rechakudash shalom until next time shalom